Hey, I'm Mike, and I'm standing on the all-new 2025 New Wear Ag Trailer. I'm gonna show it to you in a second, but before I do, let me tell you why I designed this trailer the way I did. Over the past two years, my team and I have covered over 50,000 acres, and there is no doubt in my mind that this drone trailer is the best drone trailer that was ever designed. My first season operating a drone spray trailer, I sprayed over 11,000 acres in 24 days. That trailer was a horrible setup. It had a huge box in the front, making it super tongue heavy, making the truck come up in the front. We had to take our batteries from the front of the trailer, carry them to the back. We had them sitting on the ground at times. We had to move the chargers off of the trailer and then back on every time we wanted to move. It was not efficient at all. The trailer was not set up to be an efficient drone trailer. That trailer did not have a flight deck. I was operating from the ground, so we had to take our drones, unload them, load them back up every time I got to a new location. And operating from the ground, we had endless dust bombs, debris flying around all the time, people walking into your LZ because they wanted to see this great technology work. It was not a good system. I was told at the time that that was the best that there was. The problem is it was designed by somebody that had never sprayed before ever. And so they didn't know how to set up the system. When I designed this trailer, it was all about efficiency, safety, and convenience. And that started with the flight deck up top. I wanna be able to have everything right there. My batteries are there. My fill up hose is right there. I am operating from the same area as my drones, not down on the ground and me being in an elevated position. I want everything on one flight deck, on one space where I'm working. So it started with a 32 foot flight deck up top, built on a 22 foot deck over the bottom. The reason I went with a deck over is I want to have clearance. It's all about clearance on these trailers because sometimes you have to get off road where you're pulling into fields, you're going through dips. You don't want to bottom out with these trailers for sure if you have a load on them. So we built it on a 22 foot deck over trailer. Also wanted to try to keep it as short as possible so we can make those sharp turns. If you have to turn around and go back or you miss your turn or whatever it might be, we want it, it to be compact, lightweight. It's all in this trailer. The reason we went with 32 foot flight deck up top is to be able to operate two drones easily. With this setup, you can do that no problem. Once you get some training under your belt and you get some hours, it's not that difficult. I had guys tell me, oh gosh, I'd never fly off the top. Well, they may or may not want to build their own trailers like this now. The overall height of this trailer is 13 foot two inches. I wanted it to be high for visibility, to be able to see over corn and to be able to see out there a long ways by being up higher. Another reason is I want it to stay under that 13 six so you can legally transport this down most roads. Of course, you're gonna have to watch bridges. If there's a bridge at 12 six, you're not gonna wanna try to go underneath that. But that is why we raised up the deck. We wanna be as high as possible for visibility and safety from other things coming close to your drones. Now the whole thing about designing and building these trailers was I want it to be light, but I want it to be rugged as well. I want it to be able to take that beating that you might put on it, getting off road and whatever you might get into doing these drone spraying projects. This new 2025 trailer is only 11% tongue weight with the standalone trailer. I wanted to try to cut some more weight off of the trailer, and we did that. We went with an aluminum railing, we went with an aluminum stairs. Another nice feature on the trailer is a gradually slope stairs, making it easy to walk up to your flight deck. The access door is now built out of the same material as the flight deck floor itself. It is lightweight and easy to open. No more heavy metal door to open to access your flight deck. It is a very nice addition to this trailer. We did not spare quality. It's all about quality here at New Way Ag. The whole trailer is powder coated three to six times thicker and stronger than wet paint. 
we also have 8K axles. Instead of 7K, we put 8K axles on there. You want those beefy axles to hold that weight if you're going off-road or you're getting into a tight situation where you might stress out that 7K axle. So 8K axles along with 16-ply tires. You want 16-ply tires. You want to have that heavy tire if you need to back into an access road where there might be logs or stumps or something like that to be able to hop up over there without busting out your side Another thing that I wanted to add on all my trailers is you gotta have a spare tire. I don't want you guys operating a trailer without a spare tire. I wouldn't do it myself, so why would you? So we added a spare tire on all trailers, and it's a 16-ply spare tire. It's not something cheap, like a little 12 or a 10-ply tire. We wanna give you good tire. I know that a lot of you guys are going to be entrepreneurs that buy the new AG trailer, and I want you guys to be as successful as possible. So I added these large gussets to Wait, the trailer. What's a gusset? Let me tell you what a gusset is. A gusset is a large triangular type shaped thing that goes into a corner of a fixture to make it stronger. That's a gusset, which is right there, which is perfect to add your logo to this trailer so you can start your own branding. Another feature that had to be added on the 2025 New Way Ag Trailer is a hydraulic jack. After hooking and unhooking my trailer hundreds of times, I was sick of it. I needed a hydraulic jack, and you're getting a hydraulic jack on your 2025 New Way Ag Trailer. Something we have on all our New Way Ag Trailers is a toolbox. Our toolbox is mounted up front, allowing you to put your tool bag in there or whatever it might be. Guys, so I know that you guys are going to be getting up before dawn and spraying after dark. So you gotta have lights. We installed enough lights to illuminate the entire area on the bottom, as well as the pilot protection area and the landing and takeoff area for safer nighttime operations. Speaking of lights, we installed lots of marker lights on the 2025 trailer, as well as backup lights to help you back up your trailer at night. Something that my trailer has that nobody else has as of right now is one solid composite deck flooring up top. Lightweight, durable, soundproofing. Now it's not soundproof, it just helps to bring noise down. You can have these two generators charging and you can still have a conversation up top. So the solid composite deck, oh my gosh, you don't even know how well it is until you're up there and you experience it for yourself. Another thing we have up top is we call it the pilot protection wall. It's a nice barrier to allow you, if a drone would go rogue, to get behind the barrier. All right, because we have a deck over trailer and it is pretty high for that clearance that you gotta have, we installed these easy access steps. You can easily step right up on it, as well as coming right back down, you can clearly see it. So it bumps out just slightly so you can see where that step is. There's two ways to buy this trailer. There's the standalone trailer and Mike's Loadout. Mike's Loadout is going to work great for almost everyone. There might be some people that have specialty applications that they might want to do, and you can buy the standalone trailer. The standalone trailer, without my Loadout, and we'll get into it here in a second, this whole trailer, after all these features that we've told you, 32-foot flight deck, 22-foot deck over, 8K axles, 16-ply tires, hydraulic jacks, the whole nine yards that we went over, the standalone trailer is going to weigh just under 6,000 pounds. Let's get into it. Mike's loadout. We're going to start in the front of the trailer and move our way back going through Mike's loadout. It starts with a 175 gallon induction tank. Now this tank we're going to use for mixing. It also has a easy manifold. The manifold holds your handles so you can go up there, switch handles going from the front to the back. It all runs through this Honda 5.5 horse motor. We have a thousand gallon total drain tank meaning that total drain. All your liquid will drain out of one area. We use a two inch pump to provide more flow and pressure to your system, allowing it to circulate the chemicals and provide enough pressure up top for the drones to be filled. On this side of the trailer for Mike's loadout, every trailer is going to come with this 50 gallon, what we call clear water tank. This is always clean water to spray your flight deck down, spray your drones down, maybe even your trailer. Has a 12 volt pump on it, pumps about five gallons a minute. It has a lot of pressure, so you will all get a 50 gallon clear water tank as well. Along with the 50 gallon tank, you're getting a 50 foot water hose, allowing you to pull it out to throw up on top of your flight deck or wherever you might need a hose. Another thing on Mike's loadout is this 30 foot chemical hose. It's an auto retract reel. So you pull it out, 
and you click it in and then you pull it out again and it will auto reel itself back in. So all trailers that have Mike's loadout will come with a 30 foot chemical hose for easy dispensing. That is Mike's loadout. Now, with Mike's loadout, without the generators, without batteries, without drones, this trailer weighs out at 8,000 pounds. This one specifically that you're looking at, we have the stabilizing system. What is the stabilizing system? It is four hydraulic stabilizing jacks. They will come down and they will stabilize your trailer. You do not need this on your trailer because of stability issues. The trailer is very stable the way it is. You don't necessarily need this, but I wanted to make it as an option because guys requested it, and so it's an option. So I have that on my trailer as well as the drone security box. The drone security box is also an option. So if you want it, you have to add it to your drone trailer. It does not come as standard Mike's loadout, but I had it on my trailer along with the tanks and everything, and we weighed it out and it weighed exactly 8,000 pounds. So that allows you a lot more room to play with putting weight onto your trailer if you take some of the tongue weight and you transfer it to the truck. If you guys want a drone security box or if you want to know more information about the drone security box, I made a specific video about this box. Make sure to go over there and watch that on the channel. Guys, here at New Way Ag, we do more than sell drone spray trailers. We help entrepreneurs start their own drone spray business. Get a hold of us, newwayag.com. We'll see you guys on the next one.